Hi, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to properly um, get yourself set up to play violin or viola. So the first thing we need to do to get in the proper position is, of course, we need the uh, shoulder rest. So to put on the shoulder rest, you want to make sure that when you do put it on, that it's a frowny face because no one, no one has any fun in string pad. Um, and in order to get it on, you're going to put it on one side, doesn't really matter which one, excuse me, um, and then just put it on the other side and then slide it up like so. Um, and of course to get in, and the next step to get in proper playing position is we have to be able to stand correctly. So you stand with your feet together and then shoulder width apart. And then you do a little dance, make sure you're all loosened up. Um, and then you're ready to put the violin or viola up to your chin and play. So what you want to do is you want to turn it facing away from you. You want to find the button, put your finger on it, put your finger up to the side of your neck, like so. And then you've got the violin right there. Look, no hands. Um, and so the next thing is you're going to need to get your hand in the proper position. So the resting position normally is right here over the star sticker. But in order to get your hand in first position, you want to slide it out here. You've got your magic X right here. Um, and then you've got your thumb on the other side. So you put the magic X right there. Then your thumb again. Comes in contact with the other side, and you want to make sure that you're leaving a space in between so you can easily slide back and forth. So it would be something like this. Um, lastly, is um, holding the bow properly. There's many ways to explain it. The first way to explain it is, the, of course, the long way. To get the bow grip properly so you have the this end of the bow here I mean what you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb and put it right there on the grip um, then make sure your thumbs curled by the way then take your middle finger and put it over this side of the grip so that your thumb touches your middle finger then your ring finger just kind of rests like right there. Um, then your pinky is going to curl up and rest on top of the stick. Um, and then your thumb is going to go on the grip right between um, the winding and the uh, leather part. And you want to make sure that um, it's uh, one and a half knuckles over. And so that is the long way of explaining how to hold the bow properly. But a much quicker example, which is useful if you're teaching our kids, is just to take your hand, right, make it all floppy, and then just like that, just put it over top. Um, of course, you have to make sure your thumb's still there, but that is one of the easier ways of explaining it. 